in this video I'm going to show you how to find the solids or the volume of the solids of revolution uh, which is one of the most difficult concept to understand but it is the easiest so let's do an example which is the best way to learn maths okay the shaded region below is bounded by the curve y is equal to 20 minus x squared now this is the curve y is equal to 20 minus x squared the x-axis this is the x-axis the y-axis and the line x is equal to 4 now this line they only drawn a part of it is x is equal to 4 so basically this is a shaded area this blue or the gray shaded area is uh, okay let's read the question calculate the volume of the solid generated if this region which is a shaded region is rotated around the x-axis so what is happening is this shaded region is rotated over the x-axis like this I hope you understand this is rotated over the x-axis and when you rotate this area over the x-axis you will get a solid so to give you an understanding of what will happen is this is my rough sketch so this is when it's rotated you'll get a solid okay I can't I hope you can see the 3d form now to understand that imagine uh, say let us take a point anywhere suppose an arbitrary point yeah this is an arbitrary point and let me draw a line imagine this is not okay is a line but when you rotate this you will get a a, a, a disk okay uh, let me draw a disk okay now this is the best thing I can draw suppose imagine okay so I'll try to do it better now this is the disk that is generated because of the rotating of this line uh, which has a reference to this point X so so let me take this disk out okay first okay now you imagine this is a disk which is super super thin so if you can see imagine a disk suppose this is the disk in a 3d form it looks like this okay now this is the super super thin disk that is generated because of the rotating rotation of the of the line okay now this is a disk now this disk when this line is rotated it will it is forming a circle okay this is circular this though it looks elliptical it is circular now this this becomes the radius this becomes the radius of the disk and the radius of the disk is nothing but y and this is the thickness of the wick sorry the disk which is bx so let us transfer this to this disk when this is rotated this is the radius so this is the this is the radius which is y and this thickness is nothing but dx so when you want to find the volume of this solid which is generated because of the rotation of this shaded area you're finding the sum of or the addition of all the infinite disks from 0 to 4 so this is say if I move this okay let me move try to oops uh, I think I can't move it but imagine this disk which is you can transfer from here uh, okay let me try to move this okay this I didn't want to move so this is the disk okay I think you can see the disk okay now this is a disk and you have infinite disk from 0 to 4 okay so one thing which should be very clear is is uh, this the radius of the disk is y the radius of the disk is y and the thickness of the disk is dx so when you want to find the volume of this solid which is generated uh, because of this rotation it is you basically do integration of 0 to 4 now that's why integration is nothing but addition so what are, what are we doing here we are you're adding all when you're saying integration from 0 to 4 what are we saying we are saying add all the infinite disks from 0 to 4 okay so imagine this is the longest or this is the 
you can say this is the this is one disk which is the longest and this is say probably the yeah this is the smallest disk so you're adding all the disk from 0 to 4 here for this disk the radius is 20 and for this disk the radius is 4 I think it is pretty clear now so and the volume of a disk or volume of a cylinder a disk you can uh, imagine as a cylinder volume of a disk is uh, area of a area of the base which is pi r squared times height okay where in this case it is pi times y squared because the radius is y times height which is the thickness which is the the height or uh, this is the thickness which is dx okay so if you take a disk let me again draw a disk this is I want to make this as clear as possible because this is a very difficult concept this is the thickness okay this is this is the radius again this is the radius which is y and your thickness or your is nothing but your height which is dx so to uh, to find the volume of this solid which is generated it is integration from 0 to 4 of pi times y squared dx okay and uh, yes yeah, so you can factor out so volume is pi times 0 to 4 of y squared where y squared is 20 minus x squared the whole squared because y is 20 minus x squared and as it is y squared it is 20 minus so this is nothing but your y times dx now this is one thing students don't understand why do you have to this dx this dx is nothing but your height or your thickness okay so so volume in this case would be integration of pi 0 to 4 of now if you expand this this is 20 minus x the whole squared okay which let us do one more step so this is 20 minus x squared times 20 minus x squared times dx which is integration from 0 to 4 of pi and when you expand this this is 400 minus 40 x squared plus x to the power of 4 dx okay so now use an integration so this is or definite integration this is 40 400 integrates to 400 x minus 40 x cube divided by 3 plus i hope you know this x to the power of 5 over 5 0 to 4 and next step is to put the value of 4 and take away the value of 0 uh, by putting in place of x so this is pi times 40 400 times 4 minus 40 times 4 cube divided by 3 plus 4 to the power of 5 divided by 5 minus when you put 0 this will become 0 this becomes 0 and this will become 0 so minus 0 so I think we can use a calculator now so this is uh, pi times so this is let us simplify this this is 1600 minus 40 times 4 cube is 64 you, you can do use a calculator plus I don't know 4 to the power of 5 over 5 okay so let me get my calculator out okay so we want to go okay menu run so this is a simple calculator so 1600 now my calculator understands bed mass so I don't need to worry about bed mass so this is 40 times 64 divided by 3 plus 4 to the power 4 to the power 5 divided by 5 so this is 951.46 I'll say 0 0.5 pi 951.5 pi that is 951 point what is the number 951.5 in 1 dp 0.5 pi unit cube is the answer now I'll show you also one more way of finding this volume without uh, without going through this whole thing or this this from here you don't you you can uh, avoid this if 
you have a graphic calculator that's a neat way of doing it so from this step of course you have to do this step so you go menu run yeah that's right delete it so option calculus is f4 integration are they asking you 20 minus i can also put i think so i'll try first you don't need even to do the expansion so let us do this okay i'll try to be a bit brave okay so this is uh i'll try to put a bracket again this is 20 minus x squared the whole squared uh, comma zero comma four hopefully it will work i'll try yes it has got it has worked so this is 951 it will give you the answer directly okay, so you have to put one more bracket because of this squared so this has integrated this function between zero to four so this is your answer